We are Brightside Home Theater. Home theater nerds, welcome to the Brightside Home Theater Podcast. The home theater podcast that's all about the experiences, the sights, the sounds, the scenes. And this week we're getting back to basics. I gave John and Steve the week off. Uh, so I thought I'd get back to uh, we'll break down a movie. As you saw by the title, we're going to break down U571. It's been a long time coming. Uh, I watched this a long time ago, stamped it out, meaning saved the scenes that I like to watch. Um, friend of the podcast, uh, G. Cornell's been begging for this one for a long time. And uh, I had promised him a while ago that I would get to this. Um, and here we are. We're finally here. It, 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 I just don't have the time to do these anymore, but that's okay. I made the time. We're getting this done, and what a fantastic movie to break down. Got some great, great scenes. Uh, of course, we know that scene, the depth charge scene. That's in here. Uh, there's a few others in here as well that are just, you know, little ambient sounds, but this movie is so dynamic. Really does need a uh, 4K remaster. Uh, I think some of these underwater scenes would look really nice. There wasn't really much to talk about in the picture. I talk a little bit about it uh, in one of the scenes in particular, but we really could use some HDR on this because it's a very dark movie. Uh, transfer looks really good. Uh, you know, 1080p, regular, standard def trans transfer, uh, standard high def, I should say. Uh, I watched this on my Kaleidoscape. It's uh, 1080p with uh, DTS Master Audio 5.1 sound. Uh, I also compared it uh, to the Blu-ray disc. Very comparable. They both play fantastic. They both sound fantastic. They both look great. Uh, could use the improvement. And dare I say, this could also use, uh, you know, maybe an uptick in sound. Uh, it sounds really good. Very dynamic. As we're going to hear, we're going to go through all the scenes. So I've got some really nice bass. But I think we could have a little more punch, especially in today's day and age. Um, we, we get a lot of punch from movies nowadays. You can really feel it in your chest. And I, I think with this one, we could feel it even more. There's a couple of scenes where I felt it on my pant legs. You definitely feel it coming up through your seat. And you also feel it like I felt a few in the chest, too. I would have liked a little bit more, but it doesn't mean this isn't... Submarine movies are fantastic, so it doesn't mean this isn't a almost reference quality movie from beginning to end. It's such a fun movie, too, historical, um, and just the, the home theater engagement that you get throughout this movie is really good. So, with that, let's get to these scenes. Let's get to the breakdown. And where do we start? Where we always start. Let's start with this opening scene. Very quiet as far as sound settings right now. Don't panic. There is sound. Don't check your settings. We have the Universal logo here. Um, no sound yet until we go underwater. But I'm going to bring up the info so that we can see where we are here. So you know it's U571, cast Matthew McConaughey, Studio Canal logo, uh, audio I'm using here, DTS HD Master Audio 5.1. I am up converting it right now to uh, neural using uh, DTS Neural X. Uh, we'll go back to the details. And I'm going to jump ahead because right here it's just very subtle, just like you're underwater, no big deal. Uh, so we're going to jump ahead a little bit to 150 and really cool here because we get some really nice sound right at 156 right there on the right side of the room lots of nice action here but then this part here with the 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 torpedo doors open it just really opens up in your room it sounds like it's it, it, it fully envelops your room really cool so we're going to jump ahead to another scene here at 4 minutes and 50 seconds Listen to the overheads, just, it, it's going through the overheads, even though this isn't in Atmos or DTS-X. Listen to that. 
and you can just hear it moving around over your head. It's right now it's on the right left side of the room. That little sound, the clunk to the back right of the room there. Just really nice filling your room, nice ambient sound, but there's some feel to it, some a little bit of tactile feel to it, but it really does feel like it's over your head. That one right there, did it, I mean, that one mostly to the right, but there was a little bit on the left side of the room as well. Really, really cool. Great scene. All right, jump ahead to about 6.07 here. This is where it really starts to take off. And just listen to this in your room. You can really, really feel it. Sounds are moving left to right. The explosions on either side of you. You can feel it a little bit coming up through the seat. That blast of fire, you can feel that right there. Really nice. Really, really nice. All right, let's jump ahead to 2217, and you can just feel you're up above the water, but right here, when you go under the water, you feel that coming right up over you. I mean, it really felt like the water was going over your head. It's a great, great scene, and then you get into that quietness at the bottom once you're into the water. Nice depth to, uh, to the sound as well. Nice bass to it. Really, really cool. Up next at 2628, they're starting the engines. You see the engines on the left side of your screen, and you also hear them on the left side of your room, which is fantastic because they go past, then they break down. You get the nice clunking sounds going on on the left side of your room. Really cool use of sound there. Let's jump ahead to 2754, and wow, this gunfire. It's in, it just keeps on going, filling your entire room. Uh, you're not seeing where they're being hit, but it's just insane. It really, really filling the room, especially at reference level. And at, let's go back at the very beginning of that scene. Right there on the right rear side of your room, you can hear like a boo doo doo, boo doo doo. It's weird, but it's like there, it's like an alarm or something going off on the right side of your room that doesn't necessarily match with the with the sounds of the gunshots. All right, let's jump ahead to 33 minutes even. Just listen around the room, the sounds, the clinking, the ocean. The officers and crew of the It was just some clinking overhead that I could hear, so, like a, a engine noise. Success. Yes. Sounds like the bowing of the metal or something. Just Really nice ambient sounds all around the room during this, you know, dialogue heavy scene. All right, let's jump ahead to 4005 and just let it ride. This is gunshot galore, panning around your room. Very, very powerful shots as well. Just a great, great scene to watch. Great scene to experience the sounds, the splashes everything that's going on it's really good and notice the black levels as well this it's not in 4k but those their their raincoats are jet black shiny jet black in the rain it's a great great looking scene and even in the bright with the you know you got the uh, muzzle flash contrast against the black you know raincoats really really cool scene this would be fantastic in 4k if we could get this 4k hdr it'd be fantastic but uh it would really enhance this scene a lot so all right let's jump ahead start this at 4145 and let it go because right here Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, eight. Go, go, get down, go. Go, go. that bass right there just it moved my pant legs. It was so great. It's just a little, he drops the grenade and you get the brr, 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 and it actually felt like it was coming up through the floor. So really, really cool. All right, jump ahead to 4750. You see the torpedo coming, boom. And you can hear that, like a manhole cover, flying off to the left. Very, very slight. You really got to listen for that. But these explosions are just like, 
crazy bass going all around the room, like different levels of it around your room. Really cool. Great, great demo scene for sure. Alrighty then, let's move along to 4947. Ships going down, subs going under. Bill Paxton is dying here, uh, or about to drown. And just this final explosion right there at 4958. And it just really just rocks the room. It really feels like it comes up through the middle of the room. And then you get that another scene here where, you know, Bill Paxton's above the water watching and then he goes under the water. The room, the ambience in the room changes right there. Really nice, really cool use of sound again. All right, jumping ahead to start this right at 54 minutes. And you know how much I love a good pan. Torpedoes start in the center and go right down the left side of your room right there. Really cool. Love that. Nice pan there. So, all right. Jumping ahead to 55.35. And let's go back the other way for good measure. Here they come. Starting at the front. Let it wait. Wait for it. And there they go right down the right rear of your room. Love a good pan. All right. Let's move along to 55.52. Here come the torpedoes right around. Boom. Those explosions are so crisp. The bass is so dynamic there because you could you could feel the different textures of the bass, different textures of that explosion. Absolutely love that scene. Love that explosion. So, all right, jumping ahead to one hour, two minutes, 38 seconds. Harvey Keitel's on the screen. Now his voice is over on the left side of the room. Really cool. When they go on the tight shot of uh, Matthew McConaughey and you can hear Harvey Keitel appropriately on the left side of your room. Really cool pan there. Jump pan, I guess, is what you'd call that. So, all right, moving ahead to one hour, 15 minutes, 47 seconds. They're passing underneath, but they're turning on the screws here and you can hear them spinning, the, the power in your room when these things turn on, and you can hear them almost in the back of your room. It felt like you could hear them spinning. The, the bass, the, the higher pitch, the higher frequencies really made it feel like they were spinning in your room, the, the motion and everything like that. It was fantastic. Definitely check that one out. All right, jump ahead to one hour, 17 minutes even. This is basically the scene we've all been waiting for this is the demo scene this is the beginning of it anyways the sound of those depth charges hitting the water the the sound that you can hear the the higher frequencies mixed with the bass in there and then that explosion right there and then how these just fill your room and in the Again, the texture of the bass. I don't know what else to call it, but how you can feel the the midsection of that bass. It just hits you in the chest, but then the rumble after the fact. And all of this is above the water right here, just really setting the stage for what we know is to come. And we're just going to let this one play out. We're starting it at 117. Now we're under the water, and it just sounds completely different, but you can hear that bass overhead. Oh, so nice. So nice how you hear those sounds. And again, it's like bass isn't something that you are, sh are supposed to be able to localize. Snap your spine. And now we hear the line that's going to, these could snap your spine if you're leaning up against anything. <laughs> Scared the hell out of me the first time I heard it. Sorry. Listening to the rumbles just as, as they're sitting here in this scene waiting for the inevitable, waiting for those depth charges to get to them. And and us, I'm just letting this play out because this is one of the best scenes ever for a, a demo material. Here we go. Demo material in your room. Here, it's starting at 118 and 40 seconds, probably 35. Harvey Keitel saying, these aren't even close, but the, the sounds that you're getting... <laughs> problems with the engine that rumble that you just got there from the engine the it just that vibrated right through my gut it felt so good but it, you can tell here it comes that one right there sounded right over my head slightly to the rear 
could really feel that these pings all overhead. Obviously, if you can't tell by where the actors are looking on the screen, <laughs> but here, here they come. This is the anticipation. The first time we saw this, when I saw this in the theater, full room engagement there. Uh, Bass heavy overhead, but then you could hear like a little bit of rattling going on next to you. Let's listen to some of this. And pay attention to how some of those explosions, especially when we were looking from outside the sub, how some of those explosions are on the left, a little bit to the right, and the sounds are, the explosions are actually appropriately placed, the sounds of the explosions, that is. Perfect. Oh, here we go. Listen to some of this. How they shake the camera, how that you could just see the sub there bowing from that explosion. Absolutely amazing. Uh, again, just a demo scene. We're three minutes in. I started this at 117 even. We're almost four minutes in. We're coming up on 12047 if you're just listening to the audio only podcast. Um, video on YouTube if you want to check that out. But uh, an amazing scene. Just let that play out reference level because there's so much more detail in there especially in the quieter scenes quieter parts when that bass comes down you can hear some of the higher frequencies a little bit nicer gives you a little bit better location uh maybe don't do it for the whole movie but give it a shot if you can get it as high as you can to, to really eke out every little bit of this scene all right let's jump ahead to 12706 ship passing overhead and these screws coming right at you going right over your head it f really felt like they were going right over your head there goes another depth charge awesome awesome scene uh, unfortunately the body floating up isn't so cool but we will jump ahead from there to 12846 here we go again Some explosions happening at the front right, some on the front left, some in the rear. A couple of them you could actually feel in the middle of the room. Obviously, no, that's where it felt like it was located, right in front of me, off the screen. Just back the scene up, back to the beginning again, and start it, and listen for the localization of the bass. It's Obviously, it's the higher frequencies of bass and the higher frequencies pulling your ear in that direction, but it's just, I mean, you can feel it in your chest, you can feel it moving around the room, and the location is just so much fun, so much fun that they can do that to us in our rooms. <laughs> All right, let's jump ahead to the next scene at... 13125. Listen to the leaky ceiling and see how the characters are all looking off to the left. And that's where the sound is coming from. Fantastic. Very, very subtle. Um, hopefully at reference level or even below, you should be able to hear that. Um, but it, it's really fun. I love those little scenes because the actors have to be, let's back that up and do it again, because the actors have to be sitting there going, okay, well, you're going to put the sound in later. It yeah, will back it up again quickly. There we go. And now look at them. In real life, they have no sound, but then they're like, look, then they go back and put that sound in and they're all looking at the leaky, leaky pipes. So pretty cool. All right, jumping ahead to one hour, 32 minutes, 20 seconds or so, and listen to the overheads here. They're all looking up, but the creaking that's going on and coming up right here at 1.30. Oh, uh, right around to the back of the room. It's right behind me now, picking up on the back left side, started on the back right. Now it's ending on the back left side. Oh, fan fantastic, I gotta do that again. Let's do that again. 
And let's start it at about 132.20. Harvey Keitel telling you the depth. They're all looking up again. Sounds on the right. I'm sorry, left. Now they're on the right, going to the rear, going back behind me, ending up on the back side left, really right next to me on the left side right now. 200 meters. Really, really cool. Such a fun scene. Definitely check that out. So much fun. So much fun. All right, let's jump ahead to one hour, 43 minutes, six seconds, and he's struggling for the air, and right there, double barrel, both sides of your room, the bass, the sound, then the explosions, it, but just that double barrel, just so cool how that, just it really, really rocked your room from both sides, it was uh, fantastic. Jumping ahead to 144, 19, the climactic ending, the big explosion they're panicking here it comes that oh they're trying to turn that ain't gonna help no nope, that's not gonna help here that everybody's panicking sound all around your room and boom The different frequencies on that were fantastic. Like there was a low rumble that I felt down below, like around my knees, around the the lower level of my room. And then you could feel it in your chest a little bit. And then the explosion se seemed to move up higher into your room, just like an explosion would happen. Everything shoots up in the air. The sound sounded really, really good, really nice. Let's uh, back that up and do it again. Again, full engagement of the room, front of the room, back of the room, up from the floor. Such a great, great scene. What a, what a great movie. Had so much fun with this one. And of course, that iconic depth charge scene. Had so much fun with this movie. I, it was such a blast to break down. Uh, so glad that I finally got to it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for participating. Uh, these aren't easy to do on a stream. They, I wish I was trying to figure out a way to stream this. I know it would be fun if I could figure this out someday and maybe be able to have this on a stream, but just not possible there's too much editing going on but thank you everybody for listening thank you for watching if you're on youtube please hit subscribe if you've gotten this far and you aren't already subscribed i really appreciate it trying to get up to that thousand uh subscriber mark so really appreciate it rate review subscribe on youtube i'll be back next week with john and steve we'll live stream on tuesday for the show on uh friday the show will come out on friday also coming on tuesday another great sit down uh takeover tuesday i sit down with garinder long time coming so that'll be fun uh, i will see you guys next week thank you everybody thanks for listening thanks for watching have a great weekend go push play Hey Fred. This has been a Hey Fred production with theme music by Jeff Bernhardt and Throne Vault Productions.